Okay, today, ladies and gents, we're going to talk about how to create graphics for presentations, chart graphics for presentations. Um, now, I work in the professional world, and I wouldn't be caught dead creating presentations without uh, something like PowerPoint, but that's because I create presentations all the time. Um, I'm sure there are other people out there who don't have the need or um, or only rarely have the need to create a presentation and would use something uh, like Zara Designer Pro's uh, um, presentation uh, capability or maybe something else like um, uh, the Google Documents in, uh, in, in, in Google Drive to create a presentation. Uh, unfortunately, both Zara Designer's um, programs and Google's Documents programs have very limited capabilities when it comes to uh, charts. Um, now, Zara does create uh, or does provide you with some, uh, some charts in the page elements and widgets of the design gallery under, under charts in the charts folder. And they have a few different here. They have some uh, uh, column charts and bar charts, area charts, line charts, and pie charts, which are all well and good. And they're a good start, but there are many, many more charts available in um, PowerPoint that are not available w either within uh, Zara Designer titles or within uh, um, uh, the, the Google Documents. Uh, presentation. So I thought I might show you uh, a few presentation types that uh, are very easy to make inside of, of Zara, drawing your own. So one is this uh, uh, inverted pyramid. Uh, then we have uh, target diagrams and stacked Venn diagrams, which are basically the same thing with a, a, a few minor modifications. Um, this vertical chevron list, which is quite also quite easy to create. Uh, uh, then I have this gear chart and this circle arrow process. So I'm going to run through these very quickly in uh, um, in Zara, how to make them. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. So here are your pyramid and inverted pyramid. Um, all I've done is created, this right here is just a uh, um, a quick shape. Uh, it's either a star or a, or a polygon, either, either way, with just three points. Uh, to it, or three sides, whichever you want to call it. Um, very easy to make. Uh, just pick one and draw it. Whoops. I don't know why that went nine. Three. There you go. Uh, and then just uh, uh, set it up correctly um, aligned so that you have uh, uh, it um, so you can center it or whatever. Um, I use the center line so I can get the point exactly correct. In any case, um, I don't mean to babble. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick one of my lines, and then I'm going to choose this blend tool, and I'm going to blend from one line to the, the next line. And this is going to create the lines that I'm going to use to slice my triangle shape, right, to get my pyramid. Uh, one point, important thing to note is depending on how many slices you want, here I've got four, um, what this number of steps between the, the, the top and the bottom are, um, you want to choose one less than how many you need. So if I, sit, right now it says five, but there are six um, slices to the pyramid. One, two, three, four, five, six, but five lines in between. So if I wanted only three, then I would just choose two, for example. Then I get three slices. One, two, three. Because it's going to be sliced by this line and this line. Um, so how do you do it? Now that you have the blend and you have the number of steps correct, you just, and you have this blend still selected, you go to the Arrange menu, convert to Editable Shapes, Arrange, Ungroup, and now you can see I have four lines on Layer Mouse Off. Now I'm only going to use two of them, but uh, I'm going to select my pyramid shape and select one of my lines and arrange combine shapes, uh, slice shapes, or control four. Yeah, 
And now I still have this piece selected and I'm going to select that line. So I'm going to press control four again. And now I have three individual slices. And if you don't believe me, um, I'll go ahead and show you. Three individual slices that I can color as I will. Uh, okay, so that's the, the pyramid and inverted pyramid. Here I have the, uh, the target diagram and the stacked Venn diagram. Uh, this is also very simplistic. Uh, all I'm going to do is create a, a circle. And then I'm going to use my contour tool to create an inner contour and just bring it into the smallest size that I want. So that's pretty good. Uh, right now I'm set to, to four. So one, two, three, four, five, you can see, but it's four past the uh, the original shape. So original shape plus four. Um, this is fine. Again, if I want to, uh, it's right now it's one ellipse on mouse off, but it's got this uh, contour. Uh, if I want to create individual circles so I can, I can color them how I want to, arrange, combine shapes, I'm sorry, cr uh, convert to editable shapes, arrange, ungroup, and there we go. Now I've got five shapes on layer mouse off and I can uh, color those as I will, if I can ever click on things correctly. So you can just keep on going as you want to. Very simplistic, very easy. Um, and if you want to create not this uh, target uh, diagram with this uh, um, stacked VIN. Uh, that's also very simple. I just need to select all of my, my shapes there. Um, and I'm going to go to Arrange Alignment or Control-Shift-L. I want to, horizontally, I want to uh, keep it uh, aligned centrally. And vertically, I want to align it um, on the bottom. So align bottom. There you go. Apply. And now I get that stacked Venn diagram. Okay, moving on. Uh, this vertical chevron list, I'm going to move this off to the side. This is again uh, very simplistic. I'm going to just hold down the control key as I create a square. And this is not exactly how I want it. I want it to be filled and not have any line. And then I'm just going to move until I get this centered on this line here. Uh, that's going to help me to know where to put uh, some points. I'm going to convert it to an editable shape. I have a nice button here. Uh, I've gone through how to do that a few hundred times already in this tutorial, so I'm not going to go through it again. I've selected my um, shape editor tool, and I'm going to go to the shape and right along the, uh, the top of the, this box here, right where this uh, guideline is going through it, I'm going to press uh, one time with my mouse button click. And that's going to give me a point there. I'm going to do the exact same thing here at the bottom. Um, and there we go. Uh, I'm, I, now I can select both of those and hold down the shift key and press down a few times. And now I've got my chevron shape. Very simplistic. And then making this, uh, this box out to the side, that's also very easy. Uh, all I have to do is um, make a, a rounded a rectangle like that, and then I'm going to go ahead and create a line through here. And I'm going to use that to slice it. I'm going to select both the line and the box. Control 4, as I mentioned before, slices shapes. I can get rid of that piece. I can fit that here to the side. I'll go right. There we go. In any case, uh, you give it a white color and a blue line color. Sorry, blue line color. Change that to a one pixel. Whatever. You make it look exactly how you want it. And if uh, you notice that you're, you've created this and it's not big enough, you can always grab just these outer pieces, hold the shift key down, and move it out, make it a little bit bigger. 
Okay, that's the vertical chevron list. Here we have some gears. Uh, these are also fairly basic. Um, let me move these off to the side. Um, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create a quick shape here. And here I'm going to change this back to 9. Uh, and then I'm going to pull in this bit right here uh, and, and uh, give me some, uh, some more room for between uh, the, the end and the, the center. Then I'm going to create a circle right on top of that. Something about like that. I want to make sure that those two are centered. So I've got my centering buttons here, but um, you can do that however you wish. Uh, that align uh, um, dialog will help you do that as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and with both of those selected, I'm going to add shapes. Now this is one shape now, one shape on mouse layer, mouse on layer mouse off. And then I'm going to create one more circle that's slightly larger than that one. And I'm going to give it a one pixel line and no fill. And then I'm going to select all of that, both the combined shape and this, uh, this new circle. And I'm going to press control four again to slice things and just pick the outside and delete it. And there you go. I've got my gear. Yeah. Uh, these are, uh, I have some 3D applied to them. Uh, not really necessarily important, but there you go. Makes it a little bit more interesting looking. Yeah. Uh, and you can, uh, these are just copies of this one um, and made a little bit smaller. Okay. Uh, and then the last bit is this, um, is this uh, circle uh, diagram uh, with the arrows. This is also very simplistic. Uh, just create a circle. Um, again, this has um, no fill and uh, a black background. I'm going to convert this to an editable shape. I'm going to select two of the nodes here, two of the, the closest uh, nodes that are closest together. I'm going to go ahead and break those at, at their points, and I'm going to delete one of them. Uh, and I had already had this set up so that the so that this had an arrow uh, here, but if I were to take it off, um, that's what it would have looked like if I didn't have it already applied. But you just add the arrow, and if it's too big, you can use the slider to uh, decrease the size and make it the size you want. And then you can color these lines, make them any way you want, and just uh, repeat as needed. In any case, uh, I hope that was not too fast and uh, showed you how easy it is to recreate some of the diagrams within, uh, that are available within um, PowerPoint uh, so that you could use them in a presentation of your own, either with uh, one of the Zara designer titles or with um, the uh, uh, Google Documents. So I hope that you found that useful and interesting and will come back and visit us again next time.